Okay, so if you haven't guessed, we're plug cutting our quarter inch face dots out of the walnut strip I cut, cutting into the end grain, not on the uh, face of the board. That way it'll uh, darken up nicely once I add the finish. And here we're running the uh, bandsaw on the piece to get the little plugs out about a quarter inch down off the end, off the front there. Okay, I've gone ahead and pre-marked and punched my positions for my face dots, as you can see here. And we've also done the side dots. They're at a 7 8 distance up from the bottom of the neck. They vary depending on the year of your Telecaster. And I just went with a round number. Again, 7 16 something easy to work with. I'm using again, here you can see I've got my walnut plugs, quarter inch. And uh, I just used a typical plug cutter. Uh, this is the piece here I'm using. There are different styles, but this was readily available at the time, so I grabbed it and it does a fairly decent job as long as the table is secure for the drill press and I have the material nicely secure. There's no wobbling or vibration that uh, would cause this to go out of round. I'm using a, a quarter inch Forstner bit to, to drill. I'll be going in at about a sixteenth of an inch in. That should give me enough material for gluing and I just use a typical punch. Nothing elaborate or special there. Actually I took this piece off and I just used that there. For the side markers I ordered uh, some phenolic rod, just some black plastic and I just cut that into little uh, about a quarter inch or three sixteenth inch lengths and I just uh, drill them in <clears throat> or I drill my side dot positions and glue them in and let them set and sand them down. Pretty straightforward process. Um, obviously you want your center line to be uh, dead center as much as you can down the length of your neck so if anyone ever you know, it takes a glance to see if they're lined up. They're nicely lined up. They were different uh, for this 12th fret position marking, the dual uh, pieces here. Um, I went with a, uh, I think an inch, an inch and a sixteenth uh, spacing there. It varies from year to year as well, uh, depending if you're trying to do a neck that's uh, period correct, you'd want to research that. Same with the height from the bottom up. It varies from year to year. You'd want to research that as well. Once the uh, markers are in and set, I'll probably drop the neck back down onto the jig that we did the compound radius and just hit it again. I had the router set at the last uh, run that I did, so it's just a matter of taking those off quickly, and that'll take care of that. And I'm using uh, my... I have a template that I built based on the master fret position uh, template that I got from LMII, Luthier Mer Mercantile, and this is what I use for my miter box when I do my frets. You'll see that later. I'll explain it later. You'll see I have my position uh, holes dead center on the neck. Uh, I'll talk about that later, but that's what I use to um, mark off my fret uh, positions. What I do is I'll uh, just lightly begin a saw cut along the face of the neck and then I'll use that to mark out my position dots. That way I know I'm going to be dead center in the space between the frets. Um, some of that will get sanded out a little bit possibly. Otherwise I'll just use that as my starting uh, position once I go back to doing the fret slotting. So that's that. We'll just um, do some drilling and uh, do some gluing. Sorry about that. My camera angle's off a little bit. You can just catch the drill bit at the top of the screen there. I just have a T template that I use to clamp my neck in while it's still screwed into the fret uh, template. And I just drill away. Okay, so we're on to gluing our face dots. I'm just using standard 
carpenter's glue. Just put a dab on the end of it. I just stick it in here and I give it a bit of a twist to get any air bubbles out of there. And because I'm a bit of a perfectionist, I'll probably line up the if there is any grain in there, I'll just line it up lengthwise to the neck. I like using the walnut because it's uh, readily available for me and uh, I don't have to order anything online. So I just use the same material as I use on the skunk strip and the uh, plug. Okay, now we're going to do the side dots. Just using a pair of tweezers from the bathroom. If my wife ever finds out, she'd be pretty upset. But we got three sets, so I don't think she'll mind in the end. And once this process is done and it's sanded, it's almost time to start fretting. I'll be doing a side fretting installation method here. Not something you would typically see. So it'll be kind of interesting to put that one together. And okay, so here is the finished gluing stage of the markers. And uh, starting to look more and more like a neck.